Next up then, the goodness of fit hypotheses test using the geometric. So firstly, if we want to estimate P for a geometric, then we can use this formula, but it's probably more easily just to appreciate that the expected value of X for a geometric is one over P. Therefore, P is the same as 1 over the expected value of x. So if we just work out the mean of our observed frequencies and invert it, then that will give us our estimate for the P for a geometric. As is the case with a Poisson, there's an infinite number of possible values of R. So once again, we group together all those values greater than or equal to some cutoff value um, and work out that last cell by subtracting the rest by taking away um, the rest from one. Okay, so here's our first example. So large Sarah, large DVD collection. Um, she picks them off until she finds one that she'd like to watch. So repeated trials until a success. There's a 50% chance. And here's our observed frequency of the number of DVDs she had to pick off the shelf in order to find one that she wanted. So um, this is a, a geometric and we want to start off by calculating the expected frequencies. So expected frequencies using a geometric of p-value 0.5 is going to be uh, 52 times 0.5 to get x is 1, 52 times 0.5 times 0.5 to get x is 2, and so on. And note that because the largest value of x that we had an observed frequency for was 4, then we just group together uh, 4 or greater than 4 for our expected and work out that by doing um, 52 take away the other 3 to get our 6.5. Similar the uh, approach that we used for the Poisson. Null and alternative for part B, that the proposed geometric is a suitable model uh, against the alternative, it's not a suitable model. And then once we've got our observed and expected to compare, we can then conduct our usual goodness of fit test. Notice that these expecteds are both greater than five, so our degrees of freedom um, is going to be four cells, take away one, so three degrees of freedom. And then we've calculated our goodness of fit stat, we've got our critical region. And so we can conclude the test in the usual way.